Hey, what's going on? This is Sam from the Backlog Brothers, uh, here to continue our look at some of the legendary weapons in Fortnite. Um, we looked at the Nocturno previously, and we're going to continue to look at the Founders legendaries first, uh, and then I'm going to go and start digging into some of the other ones that we have. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Founders Deconstructor. So th this is the shotgun that you got if you purchased the limited edition and got the uh, Constructors as the heroes you picked, or if you uh, upgraded to the ultimate edition you're gonna have this weapon. Um, so we've had it confirmed that uh, not only this, but all the Founders weapons all seem to have the exact same perks. And if we actually compare the Legendary version to the uh, Epic version, we see that they even have the exact same perks. They just have more as the Legendary gets stronger. So we can see that there isn't you know, a huge difference as we upgrade them, just the, the normal kind of stat changes, etc. Um, so let's go ahead and look at this weapon specifically. Um, if we switch over to the stats, uh, the Deconstructor has a huge base damage. So at level 1, we're doing 400 damage a hit, which is pretty massive. 10% um, crit chance uh, with 50% hit damage. This is one of the things, as a side note, that I've noticed that uh, the critical hit chance, the higher that it seems on the base weapon, the, the lower the, the crit hit damage is. Um, and, and that's just been a consistent theme that I've seen across all the weapons, that if it has a 10% hit chance, it only has a 50% hit damage, um, but otherwise it's 5% and 75%. Um, so further looking down at the stats, we see that the fire rate is only one. With the, with the one fire rate, it means that uh, we're only firing one shot a second, and that that's what this tooltip is. So even though we have a magazine uh, size of five, uh, we're only firing one shot a second. So we're only getting single bursts of that 400 damage. Uh, with that being said, we still have a pretty sizable range on the Deconstructor. So comparing it to one of the other weapons that we'll look at in the future, the Maverick uh, that's down here, um, we can still hit from a, a pretty decent distance away uh, with the Deconstructor, and that's something that we'll look at with the class of shotgun this is, that it's referred to as the tactical one, and I think of it more so of kind of a, a slug rather than a spray. But going down, we have a 3.7 uh, second reload time, which is pretty long. Um, I mean, it, only, you know, 1.3 seconds longer than, it, or shorter than it takes to shoot the entire clip. Um, and then and, uh, we have a 480 impact. Uh, so let's compare this to the Maverick, which you know I'll dig into a little bit deeper uh, at a later time. So uh, we see here that uh, the Maverick is a over-under shotgun. So it, this is the, the double barrel. So as I said before, th these are the different types of classes of weapons. Uh, the Deconstructor is a tactical, the Maverick is a double barrel. Um, so we see that uh, surprisingly, the Deconstructor has a higher hit damage. Um, but that's because as the technical shotgun, it only is hitting a, a very small burst or usually only even one target, whereas a double barrel, that class of weapon has a wide spray um, with higher knockback but lower base damage. Um, otherwise, it, it as well, same with the double barrel concept, uh, the double barrel has much lower range. So it, it, that's just kind of a quick overview of the Deconstructor, you know, comparing it versus some other, uh, another legendary shotgun. Um, so let's look at it specific, oh, wrong one. Uh, so th this is the Deconstructor specifically. I'm sure you're used to seeing it, you know, it's been all over um, this weapon. It doesn't really look any different from what I've noticed as you get from the rare to the epic to the legendary, um, but obviously its stats are scaling up, it's, uh, crafting requirements scale up, um, and you get more perks. So the first one that we start out with at level 5 is the 20% reload speed. So that's going to be a pretty noticeable chunk here for the reload time that we have that's very, very long. Um, so cutting off 20% off that 3.7 second reload time is going to be very helpful. We're getting a 45% increase to crit damage, which means that we're doing 95% bonus damage on the critical hit. Uh, with the 10% crit chance to start with, that means that you know when we're triggering, we're hitting for you know over 700, pretty close to 800 damage, which is crazy. Um, at level 15, we unlock the uh, elemental type, which I've noticed for all the founder's weapons, uh, they all get converted to energy as their elemental type, which means that we're getting uh, bonuses versus all elemental types, as it says. Um, whereas a lot of other weapons, they're only getting fire or uh, water, nature, or some things like that, where they're only good against one type and they're weak against another type. Uh, 
all the founder's weapons seem to have the energy, which means that they're effective against anything, which honestly makes them seem like these founder's legendary weapons might be much better in the late game than we were expecting them to be because of this energy elemental type. I haven't gotten to a spot yet where I'm facing lots and lots of elemental enemies uh, because I'm just starting to kind of get into Plankerton. But I'm sure that once we get into the higher end of Plankerton and once we get into uh, Twine Peaks, I can't remember which one of it is, Twine Peaks or Candy Valley after that. Uh, but I'm sure, you know, the further we'll get in, the higher uh, elemental enemies we'll be facing. So I, I think that the Founder's weapons will really shine later on in the game when we're having to deal with those elemental enemies, because we're going to have weapons that stick strong the entire time without having to switch back and forth to worry about the elemental things. Uh, and then just a quick look at the last stats, we get 20% damage, which is pretty straightforward. And then at 25, which obviously is very late in the game, we get 14% crit chance, which puts us up to 24%. Um, so with the, uh, uh, the total 95% crit damage, it means that once we're at level 25, we're going to be having, you know, roughly one in every four shots is going to do double damage, essentially. Um, so with the high damage that we're already having for the shotgun, it, it means that we're going to be able to dish out a ton of damage with this weapon um, pretty quickly. So that's going to be the overview for the stats here on the Founder's Deconstructor. Uh, and let's go ahead and dig into some gameplay just to kind of show um, how this looks, how it scopes, um, and then, you know, kill some husks. So um, stay tuned and let's take a peek at that. All right, so we're defending a survivor here. Uh, let's see how well the deconstructor handles these husky husks. And I should note for uh, everyone watching that this is currently taking place in a level 19 zone, um, just for a reference of how strong these enemies are. These shots are the level one version of the deconstructor. So if we leveled this up a little bit, uh, we'd be doing a much better job with these husks. If I was down in a level 15 zone, I expect that these would uh, all be one hitting the regular husks um, and we would be doing a pretty significant amount of damage to the husky husks. Um, but unfortunately at 19 without leveling up, we just can't quite get there. <laughs> 